So if you haven't noticed already, uh, I I took a bit of a break. I took a bit of a break because I went on vacation, and that is why I haven't uploaded a video in six in six days. So I was just gonna talk about the different things that I encountered along along this trip, and one of them was IKEA, the magical, wonderful place that was IKEA. It was great. It was it was it was so great for the most part. But let's let's just talk about it. the store. It's huge. The store is it's 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 huge. You could see it from I don't know. It looks like it spans out a mile. And there's a good reason. Because when you go through the store, it looks like a science museum immediately. You can go to your left, but we didn't do that. You can or you can go up the escalator to the second floor but upstairs upstairs you have all of these different like they made rooms out of their furniture and stuff and you're just like miles and miles of things that are just there They're, we're never gonna get out but first 30 minutes great experience we looked at all sorts of furniture reality starts to kick in reality starts to kick in as usual I realize Mr. Bones still dead but actually very much alive but I then realized something about Ikea my feet started to hurt and this was only 30 minutes in my friends 30 minutes in we were only a fraction of the way done and so I'm, I'm we're walking through I'm just like we're never we're never gonna get out I think I've said that multiple times mm. Why not make some, make some discoveries along the way? Because IKEA is known for their for not like having the English translations of the names. So you have like different names around them. And then like there's this one viral video of a guy like making puns to his girlfriend. And so I started looking through that. I was just like, this might be funny, but I was, I didn't want to record in IKEA because it was busy. And stuff and my friends what I found was incredible I found Gnarp I, t I took pictures I took maybe two pictures Gnarp was this set of eating utensils for a buck thirty I had no cash on me and I this this name so crisp so clear so Majestic. It sounds like something out of Despicable Me. The last way I had to move on. Look, an arc was unobtainable. It's not eating utensils, but really fucking jungle. We got through the first floor. Easy. Not so easy, though. We got through the first floor, though. Replaced all of our glasses, all of our this 79 cents from IKEA. 79 cents. Look how this is this is good glass. You you know that um, there's a Jim Henson movie called Labyrinth, and it was a very it was an interesting movie where this girl was trying to rescue her baby brother from the Goblin King played by David Bowie and had to go through a labyrinth. So picture that you're trying to save your sanity from Ikea and you're going through the labyrinth and you made it out. You made it out. Well, but your insanity kicks in, the one that you were trying to preserve, and you walk through thinking that you were free, going into a giant freaking warehouse. I don't know how high the ceilings were, maybe like a hundred foot, and there were racks going from the bottom up, lined with boxes. I think I need to talk about a different topic, to be honest. So, let's not talk about Ikea anymore, and we will talk about something else. Another game that's interesting is Pokemon Conquest. You heard me right, Pokemon Conquest, and you're probably thinking, Gene, that is a Nintendo unfriendly word, and you'd be right, except this is a Pokemon spin-off game. What I'm pretty sure Pokemon spin-off means is that- I 
the way, destiny.